Today, I'm gonna to be making the Mr. Kipling Exceedingly Good Cakes Cherry Bakewell Sponge Cake Mix. Uh, this has is 100% natural flavors and no artificial colors. Um, it says nation's favorite cake brand. Uh, Mr. Kipling is um, in the United Kingdom. They are snack cakes. They're like, um, uh, Little Debbie snack cakes or Hostess snack cakes, except these are 10 times better. I love these. The, these are my favorite snack cakes in the United Kingdom. So, Dr. J sent me the um, cake mix and he also sent me the almond flavor icing to go with it. Now, it shows on the front of this, it shows um, some uh, raspberries, it shows uh, the raspberry uh, preserves in there, but it uh, does not talk about on the back of the box about having any of that stuff. So, it doesn't even tell you, like, if you want to use that stuff, this is optional. This is what you will need. So, like over here um, in the United States, they would tell you uh, two tablespoons of raspberry preserves is optional. They do not say that at all on the back. So, I, um, Kevin has made me a, a Bakewell tart uh, two times. There's two videos on the channel. Um, and the one using the Trader Joe's almond flour is the best one. It doesn't have a picture of the, of the tart as a thumbnail, so it doesn't get as many clicks as the other one. Uh, but it is the second one he made, which is even better. But I'm going to be using this, uh, these raspberry preserves. And so you don't have to have those. You don't have to have the icing, but I'm so glad he sent that because I would rather have it the sweeter the better. It says just add two eggs, oil, milk, and filling. So that uh, you want to preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius or 160 degrees Celsius fan. Um, I have mine for an American oven at 356 degrees. You need two medium eggs, five tablespoons of vegetable oil or 75 milliliters, 125 milliliters of milk, and then the filling, like I said, the filling it says is optional, but they don't even tell you what to use. Like if you wanted to have the filling, they don't tell you what you could have. They don't give you options. So I think they should have done that. Uh, but they say you need a measuring jug, sandwich tins, greased in line, and a handheld electric whisk. Well, I am using my KitchenAid uh, whisk and my um, pans. I have two of these. I have lined them. I have sprayed them with vegetable oil. So that's the only thing that I've done there. So what you want to do is you want to take, I have my milk in here. I'm going to uh, put my vegetable oil right in there with the milk. And then I'm going to crack my eggs. And I use a knife because that's just the way that I do it. That's easier for me. Um, Kevin and Ashley would just break theirs on the on the uh, counter, but I, I always use a knife. And so you want to mix this together. It said to use a jug, but uh, Sarah sent me this measuring cup a long time ago from the Isle of Wight and it is the only measuring cup we have that measures in milliliters and I think that's originally why she sent it to me and so it's tall enough that you can see I just mixed that right in there so I didn't need any uh, separate container but you want to take your mix out of here and that's that's all that's in the box just that just this package open it up and don't do that, Tammy. Okay, now we're gonna pour this in our mixer right here. And you're gonna pour this whole concoction in there. And you're gonna use your wire whisk to mix it until it is all just well combined. my uh, bowl 
a batter and there are this smells so wonderful and i know you i didn't show you earlier this actually has pieces see all that those are little cherry pieces down in there um, so that's where the cherry comes in so um, even though it's a cherry uh, Bakewell sponge you still usually use uh, raspberry preserves uh, so I have my two pans here and I'm going to try <laughs> to equally uh, disperse this I, I'm, I'm not good at this usually Kevin is much better at this than me okay, now it says you want to let this bake let these bake for 20 to 25 minutes. I am going to let mine bake for 23 minutes. I try to always go right in the middle and then we'll be back. So my cakes just came out of the oven and it looks like this one might be a little higher than this one, but I really don't care. It doesn't matter. It smells so good. I cannot even tell you, Dr. J, I'm so thankful for you sending these to us. Um, he sent us this one and another one, so I'm just so excited about this because I love almond and he knew that I was looking for these. Um, I think he found these in Asda, um, so I'm just really excited. Um, I am terrible when it comes to this paper, so like when I take this out of the pan, look, it's gonna be, the cake's gonna be like wavy on the side. I think it said on the back that you're supposed to spray it and line it I'm I wondered if when it said line it if it didn't just mean the bottom uh, because that's what you would normally do but I thought well it's not specific it doesn't say line the bottom it just says line the pan so I'll line the whole pan <laughs> so mine will have little wavy sides but guess what I'm gonna be the one eating it so I don't care how it looks because it already smells wonderful. So I'm going to let these completely cool and then I am going to um, ice the top. And so I'll show you that after these have cooled off. I'll probably let them sit for half an hour. I'm going to take these out because they, they the pan's cooled off to, to take them out. And I'm gonna lay them here like this because they will cool off even quicker if you take them out of the pan. And I could have done this at the beginning, but I just didn't. So now I'm probably gonna put the thicker one on um, on the bottom, like this. So that came right off, as you can see. No problem at all. So while I'm allowing those to cool, I'm going to, uh, they show that you can uh, pipe this on your cake and I, normally I wouldn't do that, but since I'm using the raspberry preserves, I don't want them to, um, I don't want to push those off the cake. So I do want to pipe this on and I don't think it'll be that big of a deal. So um, it says to, I'm just gonna lay that on there. It says to stir it before using it anyway. But I'm going to, um, I have a Ziploc bag and I'm just putting it down in a cup and I'm gonna pour some of this in here. All of that. Once again, the smell, it is almond flavoring. So that smell is incredible. So I'm just gonna take this out of here and I am, absolutely not a professional so those of you that are watching this <laughs> that know what you're doing please be kind in the comments because um this is uh, not something that i do all the time so i'm gonna push that down in there like this and then i'm gonna i'm gonna cut a notch out of the end and then i'm gonna pour it on top First, I'm going to put my preserves on here. It does not tell, like I said, it doesn't even give you an option for what to use for the filling. So it definitely didn't tell me how much to use for the filling. Um, so um, that ought to be flatter though, shouldn't it? Let me see if I can get that a little 
bit more even so that it won't be so terribly wonky. Yeah. And yes, I will eat that. Because <laughs> that's me. Okay, that's better than it was. Okay. So I know when Kevin has baked these, made these baked wall tarts in the past, I know you don't use uh, very many raspberry preserves. It's amazing. It's like, it's something crazy, like two tablespoons. And you're like, you're using two tablespoons for an entire cake? How are you even gonna taste that? But you can, and it, it is, um, these, this, uh, these raspberry preserves in particular are very strong. And so trust me, we will taste them. Um, but I am sure I'm putting more than I need to, but I love raspberry preserves. So, for me, uh, the more the merrier, you know? But that looks good. You, you, um, you definitely, you, I don't think you can overdo it. I just don't. Okay, so that looks really nice to me. So now I'm gonna cut the end off this and hopefully not make a giant mess. Don't do want to do it over my cake. I'll do it over this. Now I'll get the top of my cake. Now what I didn't show in the very beginning of the video was powdered sugar. But you can see that they've decorated this with powdered sugar, and I just like the look of that. So we have some powdered sugar up in the cabinet. So I figured I would just put a little bit on here. Okay, now I'll get Kevin in here, and we will try this. Cake. Kevin said it didn't look like I let it cool No, off. it's thicker than I thought. I thought it okay. was a lot more melty than it was. Well, inside. because I told him, I said I thought it was cooled off. Yeah, I thought it was a lot meltier than it was. It's not, it's too It's cold. not very pretty, but that's because I made it. <laughs> you didn't make it or it would have been perfect. If you really want to make it pretty, you had to have piped. I did, I piped the um, the white, the frosting on it. You had to have a fancy bag where it makes the little like the little lines in it and stuff. It wasn't fancy. That it's is good. so good. That is very, very good. I sweet, I mean, it's super sweet. I absolutely love it. Did that you put powdered sugar on the top? Yes. Yep. <laughs> well, they did it in the picture. Mm -hmm. And like I said, if, if this cake good. mix was here, <laughs> um, they would have said, um, Raspberry preserves, optional. They would have said powdered sugar, like, optional. Like things you could add to it. Things you could add to it. They didn't say any of that on the back of this box. I'll I mean, tell you what, it has an excellent cherry flavor. It does, and the almond. The cherry mm -hmm. and the but, almond flavor. Yeah. Um, I love it the same with the raspberry preserves. Yeah, I can eat this over and over again. It's it is very so good. good. Good quality you, cake too. You get the texture of those little raspberry, um, Sorry, those cherry pieces that you saw in the back. Because earlier. actually, what's those little? Dots? Those are cherry, cherry. Uh, I thought pieces. they were. I thought mm -hmm. like cherries. And so you do get the texture of mm -hmm. those. They're a little bit kind of chewy, but yeah, they're really kind of like a cranberry or something like that. Right. It's kind of the same texture. But it's a. This is an excellent, excellent flavor. Mm -hmm. And if you like a Bakewell tart, then you're gonna like this. Yeah. This is so good. But I do recommend go ahead and put the raspberry preserves on there and put the the frosting on there it's it's probably going to be good by itself You're but i much prefer um i much prefer all the stuff with it i i like to you it's know it's much plainer yes i'm going to make it as sweet as i possibly can yeah it's pretty plain without mm -hmm. the frosting and stuff yeah so i like it with everything so dr j thank you so so mm. much for sending this to us i love it this would be one that i would buy Anytime I wanted to buy a cake mix, mm -hmm. I would buy this one. It's that good. 
Uh, so I hope you all enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.